He's a veteran champion, and he is a Flynn, so he's our drop-eared version, also known as a moth. So we are going to do a maintenance room with him. Um, the products that I would use for what I call my maintenance would um, kind of start with Clean Start, which is a clarifying shampoo. I'd use this at least once a month. Or if you had a lot of product or product buildup of any kind, Clean Start's great. It gives you a clean start with a nice fresh coat. So that would be one of what I call a maintenance product. Another um, would be Peace and Kindness Shampoo. It is a colloidal silver. It's 100% natural. There is no sulfates in this. So you'd use it if you had a dog that had itchy skin, allergic reactions to something. Um, colloidal silver was the first antibiotic or natural antibiotic before penicillin was invented. Um, the reason that we use silverware is because bacteria and virus and fungus cannot live in the presence of silver. So that was the reason silverware was used and um, also silver coins were dropped into milk so that the milk didn't expire as quickly. Um, we also have a spray, which it would be your follow-up product. So this is great with any skin issues. So for my maintenance, just my weekly baths would be my Spectrum 10 shampoo, my Spectrum 10 conditioner, my happy eyes for the face, my white on white for the stains, and Miracle Air. Miracle Air I can't live without. I probably go through two gallons a month. I clean my kennel floors with it. Um, you can spray it directly on the dog. It is 100% all natural. Um, you can spray it on the dog when you are expressing anal glands. It is amazing. It will immediately get rid of that odor. Um, so it can be used on a dog too, and I swear by this product. You can put it in your laundry, so, uh, just in your laundry, um, uh, remove stains and carpets with it, and I uh, can't live without it. And Mystic Ear Cleaner is what my ear cleaner is that I clean the ears with. So we will start with, I'll go ahead and make sure my water temperature is right, and we will start grooming him. The first thing I'm going to do on him is um, show you his uh, urine stains. He's a boy, so we have urine stains. So once again, I want to get those out, and I'm going to put this white on white on a dry coat. All in here where his urine stains are. Now white on white, you don't need to use it every day. If you're showing three days straight in a row, you don't need to use it all three days. I'd probably use it on the urine stain all three days. But I'd probably use it on his coat the first day, and then I'd use my Spectrum 10 shampoo and my Spectrum 10 conditioner the next day. Um, Overusing uh, white on white, um, you're just building up the pigment. You can only make a coat so white. So get it white, and then back off and go to your Spectrum 10 shampoo and your Spectrum 10 conditioner. I have seen dogs in the ring, especially with fluorescent lights, that have a purple cast to them. That purple cast is because they're overusing um, the whitening shampoos. Alright, so we got that all stuck up. I'm going to rinse off my hands. Get my temperature back up where I need it. Get up with me, boy. Okay, with the Mystic Ear Cleaner, I just open it up, put a little bit in his ear. I can find the inside of his ear. There you go, good boy. Good boy. And then I very gently, gently massage the ear. And it'll loosen up any of the dirt in there. Let him shake it off. Then go to the other ear. Put a little bit in. Gently, gently massage his ear. And let him shake it out. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, I wet him down. Thank you. 
to enchant it. And then do all the rest of his body with it. And one thing I forgot to talk about in the last video is Spectrum One Shampoo. Um, Spectrum One Shampoo is for um, coarse, rough coats. But I have really found that it works excellent also on the pappy on his tails and their ears. So I'd use the, you can use the Spectrum 10 on their body and the Spectrum 1 on their tails and their ears to get even more body if you need more. Again, I'm really, really careful with my ears. I don't want them ever to lose any ear fringe. Good boy. Good boy. And you can use the happy eyes on a washcloth. If you have a puppy that's never had a bath before, I start my puppies with washcloths and not the spray water. If you were expressing his anal glands, you can get the miracle air, express his anal glands, and spray the miracle air right there. And that will completely get rid of that odor. Also, skunks. If you're happy on ever encounter the skunk, probably won't, but you can use the miracle air. All right. Good boy. Okay, I'm rinse out that conditioner. dry and I dried them the same way I dried the, I dried the Papillon before. Um, I'm going to demo the amazing stand and groom because he's going to sit down every time I try to do it. So you want him to stand up. You want to slide it under him. You don't want to lift him on top of it. It just seems to help that he makes them aware of the presence of it so they don't sit down. I'm going to use the precious drops on him just like I did on the other girl. It's a carotene protein. I don't think I mentioned that. And I'm going to spray it liberally. I'll also be spraying it into him as I blow dry because his coat is so dense. I'm probably just hitting the surface with it at the moment. All right. I'm going to go back to my wood pen brush to blow him dry. Except for the tail, I like to use the Andreas 4 nylon brush. And I'm going to start with the tail first. And the dryer on. I get his tail dry. I'm going to go ahead and move into his pantaloons.
I said earlier, sometimes I will spray more of the um, precious drops into the cone so I can get it more to the roots and you can spray it while you're drying, then it'll get deeper into the cone. Okay, I have finished grooming Solo. I did him with the products that we talked about in the tub. I have used the precious drops on him. And we also used the white on white. So I wanted to show you the stains that we got out of his belly. Okay. And the last thing I wanted to talk about is, as I mentioned, this is home maintenance. So now that I got him all beautiful, I'm going to mess him up. But this is Coat Link Coat Dressing. I swear by this product. I use this product every single day on every single one of my Papillons. Um, it's a lanolin base. There is no alcohol in it. I use it before I brush out my coats every um, day, and I go through a can a week. So it's a foam, to, and it's, I spray it into my hands, and it'll foam up. So actually, when I do their ears, to condition their ears with it, rub it in my hands, and I put it through the ears, front and back, delicately. And I use it very liberally on their coat. I spray it all on their coat, moving their coat around, getting it to the base. Spray it all in their furnishings, spray it all in their tail, rear ends, sides, all over. And then I brush it through with the um, wood pen brush. After I've massaged it in, I'm going to go in and brush it into the coat. It's not oily, it's not greasy. It will dry, won't get on your furniture or anything, so don't worry about it. Um, so I brush it through gently, all on his coat, and I can grow coat with this product. And I just let him go free after I get done with him. Um, I keep this comb right here, this little face feet comb. I always keep it in the living room on the coffee table and there's never one occasion that at least all my paps aren't in my lap at one time during the day and I brush through their ears with the coarse side first and then I go and I go through their ears with the fine side and I make sure they don't have any mats in their coats so I'm not dealing with any mats anywhere. Um, ice on Ice is a wonderful product to use on a dog um, that urinates, gets urine on him because it will help prevent the urine stains. You can spray this on a wet or dry coat. So I would normally, during the week, I would always spray him where he gets his urine stains. Um, he has a tendency to tangle behind his ears, but like I said, I do stay on top of that. But um, you could spray it back behind his ears because that's where he normally tangles. This puts a protective barrier on the coat, which prevents urine stains and other staining from soaking into the coat. So it'll really help you minimize your yellowing stains. And I talked about peace and kindness in the tub on the shampoo. This is the spray. So for hot spots, sores, scrapes, burns, um, it can even be sprayed in the eyes. It can be sprayed in the back of your mouth if you have um, a sore throat. It is all natural. So I'm going to set him down, and then I'm just going to show you in closing, I'm maintaining your tools. Um, this is a brush cleaner. And we have the hair that's in our brush. So when I finish grooming, I want to put all my tools back up and clean them out, get the hair out of all of my brushes. And this is the filter that is in the front of the cool dry dryer. It just pulls out. You want to remove all the hair from your filter. And just, and if this gets dirty, you can wash it with just soap and water. Make sure it's dry before you put it back in your front of your dryer. But it slides right back in the front of your dryer. And then you want to take care of your shears. And keep your little shear box. You'll have a chamois in it. And you're going to run this up and down, down that blade, down that blade, get any excess hair out of your shear. It comes with a little oiler. And you open up your little oil. And you want to put, you want to, you might have a dropper or this one, there's two different versions. So put some oil on this side, turn your blade over, put the oil right there on that side. Open and close your shear five times and put it in your box. And it has a snap in here, and you want to snap it in so that your shear is not rattling when you're traveling. And that's the best way to maintain your shears. And I thank you all for watching my video. 
and I hope you lots of success in the show ring with your papillons. Have a good day.